Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to do animations with Core Animation um, in Xcode and I've just clicked New Project. So now I'm just going to click View Based Application, make sure the product is iPhone, and select Choose. I'm going to save it to my desktop and just call it Core Animation. Okay, so now it'll come up right here. And let me just resize this real quick, open up classes and resources. And today we're just going to make a picture move around the screen and shrink. So I'm going to come to Core Animation View Controller H and I'm going to define two booleans. First is has shrunk. Let me just zoom in here real quick, guys. Okay, so has shrunk. And the next one is has moved. Okay. Next, we're going to define our picture outlet. So, IB outlet, UI image view. And I'm just going to call mine pick. Come down here at property, non atomic, retain, and I'm just going to copy this and paste it right here. Then come under it and type in IB action, shrink, ID, sender and put a semicolon after that. Now we have one more and that's IB action move and same thing with that. Okay, now copy these. Go ahead and copy that. Go to your .m and go ahead and paste them here. Remove the semicolon and put two curly brackets on each. Okay, so now we have our shrink and our move here. Next, I'm going to define um, just how to make it shrink first. So I'm just going to type if has shrink equals equals no, close parenthesis, open curly bracket, close curly bracket. Okay, now in here, we're going to type UI view. Begin animations, nil, and for context, type null. Under that, type UI view. Sorry, guys. Set animation duration. And I'm going to make mine last one second, so put 1.0. And under that, type pick dot transform equals cg affine transform scale and I'm going to put point thirty five on the first one and the second one point thirty five again and now um, semicolon under that type UI view commit animations and under this we want to make has shrunk equal yes okay now if has shrunk already equals yes we need an else so type in else 
pick dot transform f o r m d r s okay pick dot transform equals c g CG transform identity and what this is telling it is to go back to how you were okay and still in the else type has shrunk equals no okay so now we can copy all of this and paste it inside move only change has shrunk to has moved okay and we want to keep the same duration and this time we're going to make translation and I'm going to type 0 for the first one and negative 100 for the second one, put semicolon there, change this to has moved, this to has moved, and leave everything else alone. Okay, under implementation, put the at sign, synthesize, has moved, and synthesize has shrunk, shrink. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and build that, and you'll see I have 16 errors, and this is because I need to go to Frameworks, right click on my Frameworks, go to Reveal and Finder on any one of them, and we need to add Core Graphics, or sorry, not Core Graphics, um, Quartz. And let's see. Oh, sorry, guys. Okay, we'll take care of the errors in a second. Now come down to view did load. Let me go ahead and zoom in here. And uncomment that. And now under this we want has moved equals no. And has shrunk equals no. And I'm just going to change this to has shrunk, which is what it is. Okay, so I'll go ahead and remove these two. And I'll close these offs. Forgot to close my ifs off. and remove the final curly bracket and now you're error free okay so now let's go into our view controller in IB and we're going to add a view and two buttons So the first button I'm going to name shrink and the next one I'm going to name move. And I'm going to drag move 
uh, touch up inside. Let me zoom in. And the same for shrink. Touch up inside to files owner. Okay. And now I'm going to save that. And I'm going to get an image. So I'm going to use an image from one of my apps and any image. Let's just do Xeon. This is for a periodic table. The app's called I Teach You Periodic Table if you want to take a look at that. But anyway, um, go into uh, my image view here and make it the image of Xeon. Let's just do aspect fit, make it look better. And size it to match just right. Place it here. Just gonna move my buttons around a bit. Okay. And now right click from files owner to the picture and select pick and let's go to save and change this to simulator so you guys can see it release build and run and now when you tap move it'll go ahead and move and shrink will make it shrink down. The reason why we did the booleans is when we shrink it, if we click it again, we want it to size back. So, say we move it, we want it to move right back. However, you see how it's all snappy and not really comes back like it should? Uh, you can easily fix this by going into the .m and with the .m go to the else type in um, well really all you have to do is just copy this uh, the begin animations nil and null and move that to the else for both of them and now you have a duration of how long it'll take before it'll get back so under the pick.transform equals CG affine transform identity uh, type in UI view commit animations and do it once more for the other one save build and run and now it moves back like it should it doesn't immediately just pop right back so guys this has been how to animate objects you can not only do this with a picture you can do it with a button uh, you can do it with text um, anything you can really think of balls for games or uh, anything like that um, all of this code of course will be on my site if you need any help feel free to send me in a uh, PM or email me. Uh, my email will be in the description if you'd like an app built or anything like that. Um, thanks for watching and please subscribe.